Every morning we do this. <coughs> Back every time he comes out of the cage, this is what he does. Hey, is that something new? Is that a new toy? Is that a new toy? That's right. Look at that. Hey? Very good. Didn't last long at all. Where's the spoon? Get the spoon. Come on. No, the spoon's not in there. Where's your spoon? Where's the spoon? Get the spoon. Get the spoon. Get the spoon. Where's the spoon? Where's the spoon? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Excellent. Now, Peter, last month, <coughs> turned five years old. And he's quite a different bird. Um, he doesn't bite as much now as he, as he did before. I think the first oh, three and a half years, we had issues that we've dealt with. <coughs> but he is a lorry keep and he is defensive of his own things, his toys. I can pick up toys now, right? And I don't get bit. And he's learned to pick up his spoon, go get the spoon. And so it gets buried in there and he digs it out. And um, he's a whole different bird. Uh, particularly in the last, I would say, yeah, in the last 12 months, he's mellowed, but he is really clingy. Um, He's fully flighty. He's still uh, my personal companion, so we go places uh, out in public. He certainly lets everyone know that he's there because he's loud ass. Um, yeah, and he eats apples like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, don't you? Yeah, half an apple yesterday. Hey? And didn't you pee everywhere? But yes. Yeah, um, <coughs> he's, um, he's become quite an exceptional bird. He's, um, I've also noticed too, when we're out in public and people come up and want to pat him and all that sort of stuff, he is uh, reserved. Um, he's pro male as opposed to pro female. Um, whereas he used to be pro female, or didn't mind female, but now he's preferred a male. <coughs> But yeah, yes, uh, but I'm impressed the fact that uh, we can go out in public, he sits on my shoulder and doesn't go anywhere. I mean, he just stays with me. Um, he's, he's, he's scared of cockatoos, um, more the sound than anything else. Um, if he's playing there and he hears a cockatoo, he's up on my shoulder like a flash. Anything that scares him, up on my shoulder like a flash. Um, he's inquisitive, playful, um, he has his toys. Um, in fact, in contrast to my green chick Conyers in the other cage, um, I can put my hand in his cage, I can move his toys, I can change his thing, I can even change his apple. And he, uh, and no bites, no territory fuss, no nothing. I mean, and I oh, you like this, don't you? Hey, nice, nice. What'd you do? Yeah. He's um, he's turned out to be an excellent bird. But I will say, <coughs> he's still a lorry keep. So I'm always um, aware. I watch his body language. I watch his um, his pinning of his eyes. It doesn't pin in the eyes doesn't necessarily mean he's going to get. Um, angry with me, or take it out of me, but look, even like that, he's pinning his eyes now, and and he's also, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 
And he's also developed this um, thing where he, um, he, he his beak, does this with his beak on the hand. Don't you? You scratch my hand with your beak. Like this, like, as you can see now. <coughs> hey? No, oh, you love me, don't you? Hey? And he's always, his wings are always crossed. He's always happy. Um, I, sometimes I feel guilty, but I can't have him out of the cage more often or longer. But he is a horror cake, and so you've got to watch him like a hawk, because nothing escapes their attention. Although, you introduce something new that, that doesn't look quite right, and he lets out the warning. He, not the high pitch, but it's a, 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 a signal that he's concerned. So we still haven't been able to train for um, his harness, which is still sitting up here. Hey, hey, hey. But you, know, you don't want a harness, and there's no need now. I mean, in fact, that. In, oh, yes, nice, nice. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And that's a fact, <coughs> all said and done, from the point of view of grooming, he's on his own, so there's no one there to groom him. But unlike the green cheek conyers, his pen feathers are not too bad. They don't seem to last very long. He loves his bath every day. Um, he's a water bird, aren't you? Now we're looking for. What are you looking for? Peter. Hey. Oh. And this is a, a routine when we play here. The object of the exercise, he takes his toys out, plays them with it, and flicks them on the floor. And then it's uh, renovation time in the box. That's the box will last you know, probably three months, if that. Um, hey. Your claws, mate. All right. Come on. What's in here? What's in here? Hey. Man, see? He scratches my hand with his beak. <coughs> What you doing? What you doing? Hey! And I certainly learnt that, um, like with all birds, but in particular with lorikeets, you maintain a routine, you do the same thing for the same things. And um, yeah, they know what's going on. In fact, I often believe that um, when I'm slow uh, doing some, something that we're supposed to be doing, um, it's in the routine, and um, it's belated, you'll let me know. Um, yeah, but from five weeks old to now, ah, hey, uh, to five years. And half, half, half a month, so just sort of halfway through January. So February, he's still on these boxes. Um, walked past him. He didn't come, and I just said, "Come!" And he took off. He landed straight on my shoulder. Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? But don't say. They never, never bite, because they do. But it is very rare that he bites now. Um, well, they're truly bonded with me. Uh, yeah, he's a good all-round bird. Uh, he gets the best he can. He gets pass well dry mix. Also, <laughs> he gets the pass well dry mix mixed up with some pureed apple and a little bit of water. Um, he gets apple on a um, fruit hanger. What else? Oh, it's water. And he gets tipped it through the day. He gets cooked white rice. Um, 
but it doesn't I seem to go for pineapple that much. Tomatoes, yeah, that's a boy. Um, yeah, but maybe I okay, you have some toast in the morning and you'll stick it in his water and make it nice and soft. Same with crackers. Um, they all get crackers. And, yeah. And he sticks it in the water. And he's obviously his food in the kitchen. We're preparing, preparing, preparing food. So, uh, squeaking, wanting his share. So, yeah, we share everything with him and the others. Um, but the green cheek conyers and um, Peter don't come out together. <clears throat> Particularly because I know Levi, my um, pineapple green cheek conyer, would become very jealous. She won't share my shoulder with another bird. We've been through that some time ago. And I think they'd end up fighting. Um, but I'm pretty sure that Levi will end up on the worst end of the stick against the lorry tree. Um, apart from being twice her weight, twice her size, their beak is really lethal. Um, yeah. What? Now, to be honest, <coughs> I don't know whether he is a male or he's a female. I'm pretty sure he's a male. Um, for two reasons. Just some of his mannerisms. Yeah, some of your mannerisms. And given that he's five years old and he hasn't dropped any eggs, unlike Levi, um, my uh, yellow sided green chick, I think it was year two that. Um, um, year two, that she dropped the first eggs. Hey, you coming up? Come on. That's hot. Show you there is in the cage, and there's Levi and Titan. Titan on the left, with Levi on the right. They're nine year old. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now because he went in the cage, we had no real problems. Um, you're, he's always reluctant to go back in his cage. He preferred to stay out, but hey, what do you expect? And we have a little bit of pureed apple with a little bit of honey, which I mix together, only a little bit, only a little bit. So he's waiting for it, because it's all part of the routine. Okay mate, <coughs> here's your, yep, your treat, <coughs> he loves it, he also mixes a bit of water with it. He doesn't eat all of it, what he doesn't want, he'll leave. I haven't seen him consume a whole spoon yet. Um, yeah? Is that nice? Is that nice? Hey, is that nice? Very good. Oh, but they're messy. Hey. Pick everything everywhere. So we got <clears throat> plastic around the cage. They're just um, plastic sheets I bought from uh, 
balance. It doesn't keep everything in, but it minimises the amount that he throws okay. around. Yeah. You're a hungry little chappy today, aren't you? Oh, that's it. He's at his nut. Now, to show you how cool he is with my hand being in the cage, I've got to be careful because he can be sneaky. Hey, so you can pick up his toys, move them away. Um, yep. This, every time I put my hand in the cage, we go through this routine. And he gets one of these um, toilet roll in it, and man, he just destroys it. It lasts about two days, but he loves them. He gets inside it, like in, in here, and as you can see, he's, he's destroyed it from the inside out. Anyway, he gets, every couple of days he gets a new one. He's a happy little chappy. Like I said, I'm gonna put my hand in the cage and he just wants to hump it all the time or scratch my hand with his beak. Yeah. And we talk through the cage. Mm, yeah. Sometimes he'll hang upside down and he'll stick his beak through here and we, we, we do, um, yeah, <laughs> makes that little noise. Eh, yeah. good value.